dragon folk are you looking for a super budget way to get into flesh and blood you know you hear all these people talk about the legendary equipment and how expensive it is and maybe that scares you a little bit trying to go into something like flesh and blood well fear not because there is a budget format that really does kind of get you into the fundamentals of the game itself and really gets you familiar with a lot of the heroes you may be going up against in the game i am talking about none other than commoner So what is Commoner, and why is it the best budget format for you to get into playing Flesh and Blood? Well, obviously, because it is pretty much in the name. Commoner format is played mostly with common cards. Your main deck is to consist of 40 cards that are only commons, and you can only have two copies of every unique card. So in Classic Constructed, which is the higher competitive level format, you would have three copies. In Commoner, you only have two, much like Blitz. So you have a 40 card main deck. You can't have any more or less cards than 40. And those all can be comprised of commons and commons alone. Then you have your equipment. Your equipment loadout or your inventory can consist of 11 cards, including your weapon. And two, up to two of these cards can be rares. So that allows you to use things like Talishar, the Lost Prince, or even Waves of Reality, which is an illusionist arm piece that you might want if you're playing something like Prism. As far as your hero choice goes, your hero can only be rare or common. Again, limiting you to some of the what most would call bulk cards of Flesh and Blood. Now, I got to say that this is a great almost retirement home for a lot of people who are very much so in love with TCGs and wanted to try something new, or maybe they've been playing Flesh and Blood for a long while and they just kind of want to coast and maybe they want to spend some time collecting as opposed to playing, so they have to drop down the amount they spend for their decks. Uh, This very well could be a fantastic place for them, but I would say Commoner is a very great place for a lot of new players to start as well. It's Very interesting because the Blitz decks do exist, the pre-con Blitz decks that you can buy for roughly around $10, $12 online. These Blitz decks are pre-made for the certain heroes that they are, you know, tied to. And while the decks do provide cards that can be used against other decks, the pre-con Blitz decks are normally needed to be upgraded in order for them to actually compete in something like a Blitz format. Uh, Blitz is essentially the higher tier version of Commoner in which you can utilize any of the legendaries or the majestics or the rares or any of that. And in Commoner, again, you're stuck to just using commons. So if you bought a $10 Blitz deck because you were going, I'm going to go enter that little that little LGS tournament, see what I do, right? Of course, don't get me wrong. Do that, right? Enjoy that. Because getting reps in and learning how the hero plays is very good. And it's not that you can't play that deck into a Blitz format. But there are often times in which I am certain, you know, there's not not everybody takes a loss the same way in which people believe that the game is essentially behind a paywall. They may see that their opponent has like four hundred dollars worth of cards and they're playing a ten dollar Blitz deck. And may go, ah, well, like, how am I supposed to play this game if I don't have $400 to drop on a deck? Obviously, you can play Flesh and Blood for cheap, right? You may not win at something like a really high competitive level, but sometimes you might. You know, it's all about slowly upgrading your deck to that point. And that is where Commoner comes in. Commoner, again, being a super budget friendly format. Just about every deck in the format, I'm saying actually every deck, I should say, is roughly $20 or less for a competitive commoner deck. Now, not all heroes are like S tier or A tier heroes. Some of them, their really, really good cards are in rare. 
some of their really good cards are in Majestic. And even some of the legendary armor pieces and equipment, that may even be what really helps get a deck going. And without those pieces, you may see your deck not function as well as it could. But playing in Commoner does allow you to get an idea of how the deck is run, the purpose behind the deck. There are even several ways to still play each hero in Commoner alone. I mean, it's amazing to see, you know, you've got Lexi who can still do an ice build or she can do a lightning build. You still have Fi who can use the Kadachi or he can use the Searing Ember Blade. You have Dromai who can go like full Phantasm or go Redline and just try to get Ash Wings. Like there's plenty of different things to do and still enough versatility in the game to be able to really access the true potential of a lot of these characters and the fact that you are playing a casual more casual format in a way you are playing something that uses the young versions of the heroes i don't know if i told that earlier a young version of a hero is essentially a it's exactly that it's a young version you take their adult version which has x amount of health and you cut that in half and that is the young version you'll see that there's the young text in the hero description that is how you know you have a young hero and in these young hero formats there are plenty of heroes there are at least five plus heroes that are not in classic constructed that you can play in things like commoner and as you evolve into something like blitz you have access to the other heroes that are not rare or common such as the emperor and even things like valda or genus like it's just a straight it's a strange thing altogether, but it's very cool that you have access to a ton of unique heroes and the the meta is still very versatile in a way. So again, commoner is a very budget way for you to play, you know, 20 bucks a deck, sometimes less. And a lot of times it still holds the same core concept of how the deck is meant to be played. It still follows the same rules into playing into other games and other matches and the greater part is is that this really helps give you an idea about the deck building a lot of these common cards that you'll see in your deck are even used in higher tier decks in classic constructed or even in blitz so you get more familiar with how the cards work and how they synergize with one another so again it's another boon for new players who are just looking to find a place to start and try to find a way to get into the game simply because they don't have to focus too much about spending a lot of money and it's still versatile enough to where they can just look through all the common cards that are available for that hero and go, oh, okay, yeah, let's throw this together and see what happens. Or, oh, let's throw this together and see what happens. And it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. You're able to still test at a very cheap rate. And who knows? You're still probably going to be able to win some of these commoner events based on how well you do. One of the other things I wanted to talk about with Commoner is the fact that the format, again, is just so amazing for new players. And even those who are not really comfortable and may have played a TCG in their life before, starting at Commoner really gives people an idea of how to evolve their deck into something that is of a higher tier, such as playing Blitz or such as playing Classic Constructed. Those are pretty much like the two higher end hyper competitive formats, depending on where you live. And what Commoner actually has in this regard, as opposed to something like, uh, you know, Pauper uh, in Magic the Gathering. Commoner is really awesome because it is then preceded by a format that is a fan made format that not many people, I think, are taking full advantage of learning, which is none other than Clash. Clash is a format in which you can play with commons and rares, and you also have access to any rarity hero, any rarity specialization that that hero might have. And of course, you're still limited to rare and common equipment. So you essentially get to evolve your deck from one format to the other and still not have it be expensive. Clash is still very much so a budget format. The rares and the commons in Flesh and Blood are bulk essentially for the most part so that has a fantastic concept there it's a great evolution 
from starting in commoner and then working your way up. And then as you go through clash, you can then upgrade your deck into maybe you wanted to just go right into blitz and you wanted to play blitz. Maybe you're like, OK, cool. Well, I want to play at a more classic constructed level. Maybe there's an LGS that only does classic constructed and you want to go there to play. You can upgrade your deck to classic constructed, which is probably one of the higher paying formats available in the game as of right now, if you're playing at like a highly competitive level. Now, unfortunately, we come to a problem that I guess it does not happen everywhere. It just seems to be mainly in my area. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough. There are plenty of places out there, plenty of LGSs that are picking up starting uh, flesh and blood. So the problem that we kind of run into is that a lot of LGSs want to make their focus on events for those competitive formats, such as Classic Instructed and Blitz, which means that Commoner usually gets left to the wayside. Uh, sometimes you see things like Limited, which is another very, very fun and great way to get into the game, such as a draft or a sealed for a set. But if you're looking for a beginner constructed format, Commoner is not normally something that is played at many LGS. Which is unfortunate because the barrier to entry is extremely low. It will bring in a lot of people who are scared of that price point. And even if you only run one event a week, it's at least something for people to enjoy. And if an LGS near you does not end up doing anything in regards to commoner, then you can always just ask the other patrons at the LGS. You can ask the LGS owners and the shopkeepers whether or not it's something that they may do in the future. But if you cannot find anybody at your LGS to play commoner with or to play commoner in a more competitive armory scene, there are other ways for you to play commoner. And it's super awesome and super easy as long as you have a computer or a computer, a webcam and a microphone. There are plenty of online ways for you to play commoner, such as Talishar.net. Playing Talishar.net, you can always go ahead and choose the commoner format, find a deck on Fabrary.net or make one yourself and go ahead and link that deck into Talishar, play in the commoner format and see how well your deck does. So very great way to play, although Talishar is not supported by LSS, so there's no actual tournaments or prize support or anything that goes on through Talishar. Um, you know, no events are held by LSS over Talishar, but it is a great way for you to test out the format and really kind of play at an even more budget level, a.k.a. free. But if you wanted to play in paper, in, in person, right, the best thing you can do is to find discords that run commoner leagues or even just open commoner play on any random given night. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to the Tavern Brawlers. I'll go ahead and link you, leave a link to their information in the description below. The Tavern Brawlers has a very, very awesome, well-organized Discord in which there are, there are entries for everything. If you wanted to play Classic Constructed, Blitz, Clash, Commoner, all of it, uh, it is a great place to start if you're looking for an amazing community to really get yourself together, start learning a format, start playing over the internet if that's all you can do. I know some people do not have access to an LGS near them. So again, this is a fantastic way to do that over, you know, to, to hold you over until maybe you want to go to one of these big events like an SCG con or something where they do hold commoner events more frequently. And that's commoner. I mean, there's not really much to the game that I can truly go over other than the fact then letting you know again, it's a budget friendly, easy to learn, easy to build format that is still not only widely available across the flesh and blood community, but also possibly in your own LGS as well as online in plenty of different platforms as well. Again, you can build upon this deck and take it from a commoner deck into a clash deck. And then Clash, again, being a fan made format, your LGS probably won't be running any Clash events, but the online things will. Talishar.net does have a Clash format you can play in. And there are some leagues that happen over on that Tavern Brawlers Discord 
that you can enter in order for you to get a get a hang of how to play clash and how it works and then once you're ready and you're comfortable with your hero or maybe you've you wanted to move and change to a different hero because you're not sure if you like how they play at an upper level or maybe your hero is living legend already and you can't play them in that format you can always take that opportunity to buy the cards for a new hero for budget while you're still playing in those budget formats and be able to still practice with them as you grow into these classic constructed and blitz formats. So let me know what you guys think about commoner. You know, I've I'm I'm been a big fan of commoner for a long while and uh I, I haven't really so I started getting into classic constructed to begin with, but I really feel like commoner is a very beginner friendly format. And I think it's where a lot of the focus for my gameplay and my news and any updates in regards to um you know deck techs and so on and so forth is probably going to start more with commoner than it is going to be with things like classic constructed i will of course still be playing classic constructed every now and again at my locals because i do love the game and i love the people i play with and you know i, I don't know if i'm going to be able to get an entire lgs to conform to playing commoner but i do truly think that it is a fun format and even if i don't get to play it at an lgs level i'm still able to play classic constructed at an lgs level which i'd probably much prefer and i can play things like commoner online and give you guys kind of an idea and get yourself prepped for if you ever want to go to these big conventions like the pro tour in baltimore or the scg con in charlotte that is going to have these commoner events for everybody to check out so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about commoner if it's something that you guys would love to see here on the channel i know i have a couple videos up here in regards to some commoner deck techs that i've already done so feel free to check those out there will be plenty more where that came from and uh yeah while you're down there writing that comment make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel as well if you have not already and make sure to check out our patreon or our channel membership in case you want to support the channel in a more monetary sense but it's absolutely not necessary so thank you all so much for watching i do truly appreciate your support and i will see you all very soon nerd out